Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison on all six of these Tenneco floor cleaners. I really do like Tenneco, but I've got some of the most expensive ones and I've got the cheapest one. So over here is the cheapest one. This is the iFloor 2 Complete. Next we got the iFloor Breeze. Now we've got the i no, the Floor 1 S3. Here we have my favorite, the Floor 1 S5. This is the S7 Pro, and this is the S7 Steam. Now, price-wise, the Steam one is around $650. The Pro, this, is, this Pro is $800. I, I actually don't recommend it. It's got too many electronics. My favorite that I think is right in the middle where it's got just enough electronics is around $500. This is the S5 Pro. These are all really good, too. They all clean about the same. You just end up with more cleaning solution and a bigger dirty water tank. This one will talk to you. This one doesn't talk to you, but it puts down the solution automatically from here on up. You don't pull a trigger. On this one, the S2, you actually have to pull a trigger in order for the solution to come out. Okay, so let's talk about features. With the S2, again, you gotta pull the trigger in order for a solution to come out. And it'll, the suction is on all the time. When you start getting to the iFloor 3 Breeze, it doesn't have a trigger. The solution comes out automatically, it has suction. When you go to the, the Floor 1 S3, this is when you start getting into the auto mode. It's got a loop, eye loop detector. It's gonna put the solution down automatically, but if it senses the floor is dirty, it's gonna ramp up the suction and the solution. Again, no trigger up here. The S5, which I really do like, um, it's got a really nice display. It's got a really big water tank. You're starting to get into the bigger water tanks with solution. Here's the water tanks. These are the same water tanks on these. A little bit smaller. And the dirty water tank is a little bit bigger on this one. And the S5 also has a better edge cleaning on one side. And these start talking to you. I really like the feature where they talk to you to let you know when the dirty water tank's full or empty. This one does not talk to you. The S5 three the iFloor 3 breeze does not talk to you or the s2 now the s7 pro it's got a lot going on again great big tank to hold a lot of water and solution it's got edge to edge cleaning on the sides really nice display um, you know and it's got it's i call it self-propelled the wheels are powered there's little motors in there and it knows which way you're pushing it and it helps you move the vacuum cleaner now the steam one does not use chemicals the steam one only uses water. It's got a great big water tank back here. You put your water in, it's gonna shoot steam out either all along the front or just in the middle. There's two steam modes. But you can also just put down water and kind of help clean up the mess. And then at the end, you wanna sanitize it with steam. They all, they all have really good suction. Let's talk about charging. So these three, you charge by plugging it into the back. These are the base is actually the charging unit. So all you got to do is dock it, it charges it, and then you're ready to go. All of them need their base units to do the self-cleaning feature, but they all have a self-cleaning feature where it's, it sprays some solution on the roller and then it sucks it up and then you got to clean it out. Now, price-wise, again, I do not recommend the S7. It's way too expensive. It is $800, this Pro model. I did a review, I got a separate review on it. I think it's just got too much electronics. It may serve a purpose. I don't find that these are too heavy when you're pushing them. Um, but this one's got those self-propelled wheels. The steam one has a purpose also. Now it's retailing for around $650, but it doesn't use solution. So if you have kids that are crawling on the floor and you don't wanna use any chemicals, the steam one actually does a pretty good job but it's not gonna last quite as long because it is cordless and it does have to heat that water up to create steam, but it is a good one. Now, there's also an S, the, the S3 is very popular and there's two models. They're almost identical except for how they charge. So there's this, this is the, the Floor One S3 Breeze. When you, there is one without the word breeze and it charges by just simply docking it. When you put it on the base, it, it's got built-in charging receptacles, whereas this one, you actually have to plug in a wall charger. You know, it's just a little extra work. I don't mind the extra work, but they clean the same. And I thought these three all clean the same. If you don't mind pressing the trigger when you want solution to come out, this is actually a really good one to get. It's a little bit smaller tank, a little bit smaller, but it's very capable. I found that the, this cleaning area down here is pretty much the same on all three of these. 
These you start getting into, the, you can clean closer to the edges. Okay, so now price-wise, the uh, this is $230, $280, $370, and the one that has the charging base, which I really do like it, it's $400. So you're gonna pay a little bit more for a charging base. But the one I absolutely love is the S5. It's $500, it does go on sale. It's the S5 Blue, and it is actually a pretty blue color. But the main reason is, it's got a really nice water tank. It's nice and big. You can see you're gonna run out of water a little bit quicker on these. Um, but I, one thing you've gotta keep in mind though is you will start getting into some technology where the tanks, so that on the S5 and up, the tanks are gonna have these sensors built in. I have had some trouble with these sensors that tell you when the tank is full. Sometimes they tell you it's too or it's not full, like the water kind of splashes up into it and it says, oh, the tank is full and you stop and it's not full. I have had that. That's why I don't necessarily like when they put a bunch of electronics in it. Now with this one, they from here on down, they're doing the float. So there's just a float in here and when it raises up, you'll hear the suction change and that's how you know that you're full down there. That way, when I use these, I can get this all the way full to the, to the max line and I never run into that problem. But they are smaller and same with the um, clean water tanks. They're, they're a little bit smaller, but they actually do a really good job. Okay, so let's go over the cleaning brushes. These three all take the exact same cleaning brush. They go in, there's a little gear for it to go on. And they got like a little wiper down there and there's where the, the solution is going to come out and suction's right there. Over here, you start getting into to some different ones. This is, you've got a little edge. This will clean closer to the edge. The rollers come off really easy. They're just a little bit different. And then same with over here. They're a little bit different. This, these three, none of these rollers are the same. Now with the steam, the steam's going to come up here. It comes out these right here. In the first mode, or the first mode, the steam comes out all five. But when you want to concentrate it, then you can get steam out these two and it does a, like a little spot cleaning. Okay, so these with the gray ring on them, these are all interchangeable as far as this filter up here. Once in a while, you'd have to kind of clean that out and make sure that's nice and dry. When you start getting down into these, these are just a little bit different looking filters that you have to clean and let dry sometimes. Okay, so these two have a different filter because they don't have those extra ears because the sensor pickups are right here. Whereas these filters have the little ears. So if you try to put this filter over here, it will not work. And straight back. Okay, so I thought all four of them did a really good job of cleaning, you can see. And again, there's their dirty water tanks. We can do self-cleaning cycles on all four of them. But again, I thought they did a good job. Okay, I'm gonna turn the steam on, the steamer. So the steam one has steam coming out now. Okay, so we've got the steam on the steamer. Okay, so boost steaming mode, the steam comes out right in this little area right here. Okay, so the pro, there's the steam. 
We can change steaming modes. Steaming mode. Good steaming mode. Here's the different modes on the Pro. Max mode. Ultra mode. Suction mode. Okay. S5, S3. Control panels are about the same. That will turn red if it senses that the floor is dirty. Okay, so let's run the self-cleaning cycle. Now for these three, you've got to have them plugged in. They have a wall charger that you have to manually plug in yourself. There's that one, this one. These will charge when you just dock them. When I put them on the base, they start charging. Okay, so each one of them is a little bit different as far as the self-cleaning. These have self-cleaning buttons you're just going to press up here. This one, you got to hold the button. And same with this one, you got to hold that button. All right, so they're all self-cleaning. This one I gotta pick which one I wanna do. Okay, so our first Tinico was an, a 1S3, and we absolutely loved it. The only reason we upgraded to the blue one is it was on sale, but the tanks are bigger. So this tank was bigger, bigger battery, and also um, the fresh water tank is bigger, and it does clean closer to the edge. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with these. You know, the S2, you gotta pull that trigger, which I actually don't mind. I think these all clean the same. This Pro model, I don't like it at all, actually. Um, the self-driving wheels, I thought they did, they work okay, but sometimes it was kind of be one to pull out of my hand. The menu, this display is very nice, but it's very complicated sometimes. And you got this thumb wheel up here, and you're, sometimes you're pressing the wrong button. The steam definitely has a place. If you don't want to use chemicals, the steam is the way to go. So if you find yourself wanting for it to talk to you, that the entry model is the S3. And these names are so confusing. I, I'm still, I mean, I've had these for a while and I'm still having trouble with it. So it's the Floor 1 S3 is when it starts talking to you. The iFloor doesn't talk to you. It's an S3 also. You, you would think the iFloor would have a loop sensing, I loop, they call it I loop sensor, which is this, but it doesn't. It starts with the 1 S3. So I do like that loop sensor. You can kind of go over the floor and then when it turns blue, you kind of know it's clean. You know, it works for the most part. Yeah, that it's called the S5 Blue, the One S5 Blue. Um, that's the one that I really do highly recommend, and it does go on sale. It retails for five hundred dollars. I think I paid around four hundred dollars. We really like the upgrade, um, but they're absolutely again nothing wrong with these ones, and these can get pretty cheap sometimes. The S2 is two hundred thirty. I'm sure it goes on sale. The the i Floor S3, two hundred eighty. I'm sure it's going to be around two hundred dollars sometimes. They do they discount these a lot. You don't necessarily always see the discount, but you it'll be like a coupon to clip. I will put links to all of these in the show description notes. I did buy all these with my own money, and I was not paid for this video. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really helps out my YouTube channel. I have other videos where I compare these. Now, the Bissell Crosswave, I mean, I really do think Tinico has, it, has a really good idea of how to clean these floors with these machines. They just, the more expensive ones, I, I don't think it's doing it. The Bissell Crosswaves, I've compared these with the Bissell Crosswaves. They were the first ones on the market. 
you can definitely tell these guys have improved quite a bit. I think Bissell's kind of behind the, the power curve a little bit as far as playing catch up. I've done the Hoover. The Shark is okay. They just have not changed it. It's been the same Shark Hydrovac for like three or four years now. I anticipate they're going to come out with a new one. But the Shark Hydrovac is a very good one. It kind of compares with the, the iFloor S2. It's very basic in what it does. It does have a control panel, but it doesn't have any of that loop sensing or anything. So be sure and check out my Just A Dad Videos uh, Facebook group page. This is where I do my free give giveaways. So when I'm done with these products, I do give them away. And this is where you can find the free giveaways. Just A Dad Videos group page on Facebook. Also, I'm branding my own coffee. Just A Dad Simple Sip Coffee. It's a Brazilian dark roast. I'll be releasing it very soon and you can buy it. Again, really appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Miss Fiona is taking a nap. A rough day.